Metro 2033 is a dark, claustrophobic game that always keeps you on your toes. The game is set in post-apocalyptic Moscow where survivors lived among the underground Metro railway systems. You play the character Artyom throughout the game and pick up many companions along your way, although they come and go as it is a constant struggle for survival in Metro 2033. The game cleverly uses military-grade ammunition as a currency system in the game, so you use this to purchase new weapons and armour, etc. But, in times of desperate need, you can also use the military-grade ammunition with your guns and fire away at your enemies. Although, keep in mind, you are basically shooting your hard-earned money into them. The visuals in Metro 2033 are absolutely amazing and keep the player engaged all the time. I found myself scared at many times throughout the game due to the dark lighting effects and other visual effects such as obliterated corpses on the ground. I found the graphics of the characters' faces to be extremely well done. I did however come across a few bugs where gun effects would not show or significant characters would bug out of the map and I also came across a bug where I could not take my gas mask off at all, which was pretty annoying and consequently it got broken in battle. Overall, I think Metro 2033 has an outstanding visual performance, even on my DirectX 10 high settings, and was an important factor to my enjoyment of the game. I would give the visuals about a 9 out of 10. Metro 2033 covers a wide range of gameplay going from stealth missions to massive firefights. The gameplay in Metro 2033 really impressed me, except for the stealth missions. Because if you made the slightest noise, everyone in the whole game would know where you are. Another clever idea by 4A Games was the use of the gas mask whenever going outside. You have to be constantly checking the timer on your watch which tells you the amount of oxygen you have left before you change the filter. I thought this was pretty cool. Overall, I would have to say that Metro 2033, being an FPS, offers its own unique ideas here and there and makes it really stand out among other FPS games. I would give the gameplay about an 8 out of 10. Metro 2033 has a fantastic storyline that takes you from station to station, picking up new companions as you go, but also losing companions as well. Artyom has to do many things by himself in the game, however, and others depend on you severely. The storyline of Metro 2033 is one I can't reveal much about without giving the ending away. However, I can tell you that reaching the next chapter or the next level of the game gives you the same amount of undying satisfaction throughout the whole game. Metro 2033 offers a gripping story and involves the player in it majorly. I would give the storyline about a 9 out of 10. Overall, I gave Metro 2033 a 9 out of 10 because I really, really enjoyed it. If you're the type of gamer that likes good storylines and outstanding graphics, then Metro 2033 is the game for you. Let's <laughs> go.